Hello, it's Alicia. Welcome back. Today I am talking about that final touch that every outfit needs. So if you look at what you're wearing right now, how many pieces make up your outfit? Like how many garments or components or elements do you have? Because if it's just a top and a bottom, then, or even just like one piece, like a dress, then you are missing out on something. You're missing on adding in this final touch to your outfit. And it's this final touch that takes your outfit from like whatever to something so much better. And that is what I'm going to talk to you about today. And I'm also going to demonstrate how you can add this final touch into your outfit. So let's get started. What are top and bottom combos? Well, it's a shirt and a bottom. So it's a pair of jeans and a tee, or it could be a blouse and a skirt, or it could be a blouse and a pair of work pants. It could also be a dress because a dress covers your top and your bottom. So I am considering a dress to be two pieces. So your top and bottom combo is totally fine if you just are using your shirt and your pants. That's totally fine when you don't care so much about what you're wearing. Maybe you're lounging around or just having low key activities like maybe running errands in the neighborhood. But it's when you want Want to have an outfit that really represents your style so it's making a statement for who you are and you want to get noticed for how you look it's then that you want to add in this final touch and this final touch, I like to call it the cherry on top. So when you have a sundae, it's already pretty delicious. Maybe you've got hot fudge, you've got nuts, you've got your ice cream, it's all good stuff. But once you add that cherry on top, it takes it to the next level. It's like, look how beautiful this thing is. It's got this bright red, beautiful color on top of it and it's sweet. So it adds like an extra flavor. So the cherry on top is taking something that's already Pretty fine it, it works it could be good but it really makes it extra special and you want your outfit to be extra special so you want to have a cherry on top every outfit that you care about how you look how do you do this how do you add a cherry on top to your basic shirt and bottom combo well, the easiest thing you could do would be to add a layer. So that would be a jacket, it could be a vest, it could be a cardigan sweater. That's gonna be really easy. Just find one of those extra layers and then add them on to your basic combo and then boom, you've got your cherry on top. What happens if it's kind of hot outside? Like, what happens if you don't really want to wear that extra layer? Well, you've still got options. Accessories are an amazing way to add a cherry on top of your outfit. It's like accessories were meant to be the outfit completer or to finish your look. So scarves, hats, sunglasses, something on your hair, like a hair accessory, the scrunchie, you know, the scrunchie is back, just in case you didn't already know that. Um, so bows, barrettes, anything on your hair, and jewelry. But I just wanna point out that not all accessories, particularly, particularly with jewelry, they're not all created equal. For example, I've got on these tiny little earrings here, okay? But if I'm standing back here, you're not seeing them. So these, my tiny earrings are not the cherry on top of my outfit. I would need to add on something a little bit more statement worthy. And I could do that with a pair of earrings and then like maybe, you know, put my hair back so you could see them. Or I could count my cherry on top as another piece of jewelry, like a necklace. You could easily add a necklace, just like I'm doing right here, right now. Just trying to find that little clasp. Okay, there it is. So there, now I've just put my cherry on top of my outfit and it is this statement necklace. So instead of relying on these tiny studs that I've got in my ears, I added a piece of jewelry. Okay, so I'm gonna actually take this off because I am going to demonstrate to you how you can create a cherry on top, put a finishing touch on your outfit if you still want to have just two pieces because you can also rely on bold prints, patterns, graphics, stripes, plaid, you can rely on any of these to be your cherry on top. 
So for instance, I've got this shirt on here right now and it is a printed shirt, okay? So I'm gonna step back so you can sort of see how it looks. And I'm just gonna come up here so you can get a better view. So, okay, so I have on just this two pieces. I've got a pair of jeans and then I've got on my top, which is a, it's a floral print. It's this abstract floral print. So, okay, I could count this print as the finishing touch, as the cherry on top. I could just head out the door and be like, fine, this is good. Or I could play around with it a little bit because another way to add a finishing touch to your outfit is the way that you style it. So for me, I'm going to tie mine up like here and then this adds another element, another styling element to the outfit. So basically, your cherry on top, your finishing touch, is adding an extra element that's going to get your outfit noticed. It's going to take your outfit, it's just gonna give it that extra so people notice it, so you stand out, so you look stylish, so you feel more pulled together. Because if you wanna get noticed for having a put together, pulled together look, then you're gonna wanna add a finishing touch and you can use it just by how you style your things, how you, how you style your pieces. So I could tie it up here like this, or another thing that I could do is I could tuck in my top here, and I could also add in a belt. So I've got a few different belts here. So, you know, depending on how bold you want to go with your finishing touch, like for example, this one is pretty subtle. It's just a um, burgundy, it's a burgundy skinny belt, so I could do this, and then all of a sudden I put this on, and then my outfit feels more pulled together, and it feels more complete. So this could be this could be an outfit right here. This has got my my cherry on top components. It's got my printed shirt, my jeans, and my belt. Now I probably wouldn't stop there. I would probably add on another element and I would put on this necklace because I like to go extra with my outfits. I like to play around with accessories and playing around with accessories is exactly what you want to do when you want to have a finishing touch for your outfit. So just to review, your two-piece combo, shirt and bottom, it's not really enough if you want to get noticed for a pulled together style but it's not that big of a deal to add in your finishing touch or the cherry on top, as I like to call it, which is that extra something that just takes the outfit into something from like whatever to something so much better. So you could add in a layer or you could use a bold print, a graphic tee would be a cherry on top for your outfit, or you could use your accessories like a belt or jewelry or a hat, sunglasses, anything like that. You can also use the way you style it. So a styling detail, like the way I tied it up, or you could tuck it in, you could do a half tuck. So these are all cherries on top that you can play around with because at the end of the day, that's really what we're doing. By thinking about having this, this extra element into your outfit, you are stretching yourself into your creative zone. So now you've got to come up with ways like how can I make this outfit better? What can I add to it that's going to make it feel finished and complete and take it into that extra zone where it's gonna get me noticed for how stylish I look and feel. So that is what I wanted to talk to you about today. If you know someone who you think could benefit from this video, like their outfits are feeling a little like just stuck in the one and two piece components, then please share this video with them because it could help them find that cherry on top for their outfit to make it extra special and sweet. So thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. I'll be back here next week. Okay, I will see you then. Bye.